The club is much more than, than just a local rugby league club, it's the centre point of the local community. We have thousands of people that use it each week. The walls and the floors and everything else, you know, eventually they deteriorate. We're always looking for who can help and support us. We need this, it's a boost that the club deserves for how hard they've worked. We will always find a place for you at Hindley. Ron Seal are proud partners of the RFL, proud of its values that it shares and its bond with its community. I'm here at Hindley today to give back to this club and to this community. I may not be a Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen, but with the help of some England stars, we're going to meet some of the amazing people who kept this club going and we're going to give this whole place an outstanding makeover. Tell me how much did the club and the centre need to spruce up? It's been a project that, that really did need doing uh, for a number of years in truth. And we're right in the heart of the community and so many people not only get to participate in sport but we also have disadvantaged groups and disability groups that use this and this facility is uh, essential for their, you know, for their uh, way of life. They've not been able to play here for, for so long, so the fact that we're coming back out of that and now you know they've got the boost of the getting the clubhouse back, plus with this fantastic opportunity to all be modernised, it's going to be a real boost for the players in the community. I think my fighting skills are much better than my TV skills. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll be better than the England players? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, can you tell us why it's important to Ron Seal to be involved in projects like this? One Seal and the RFL are two organisations that I think share a lot of common bonds, a lot of common values. And within this initiative, I think we, we understand the roots that we have in the community as two organisations and also understand what we can give back to the community as well. Lads, good to see you. Thanks yeah, for coming down to the club today. Yeah, How are we doing, mate? Right, um, we've had some volunteers in there doing a little bit of work on the change room, so do you want to try and help finish this off? Yeah, nice okay, mate. Right. Graham, how's it going? Hello, mate. How are you doing? Good, yeah. Nice to see you. How are you doing? I believe oh, you actually know each other. Yeah, yeah. We certainly do. Graham's our, uh, our new kit man at, yeah. uh, at Wigan. So, have you ever done anything like this before? <sighs> uh, I'm, not, I'm guessing no. I'm right? not going to lie, no. <laughs> I'll leave it for me, mum and dad, to do this one. Well, we'll start on the wall, so you need to touch it up and get around the edges a bit more. Uh, but we're just working on the benches now and Steph's on the legs. It's not for me, <laughs> painting and decorating. <laughs> but no, I've started. I'm like, right, I'll finish all these legs before. Ollie, have you got any um, memories that stand out for you um, at your local community club from when you were younger and playing? When I was playing for St. Patrick's, we won the, the National Cup twice at under 14s and under 16. So some of the best memories of, of my career is, is playing with my best mates, you know, at these, these local clubs, without the amateur clubs. And I wouldn't be where I am today. It's as simple as that, really. I owe everything to the community game. They got me to where I am today and represented England to all start. I always remember where it started from. So I don't think it's just the stuff that you're actually doing here and giving something back, it's the influence that you can have. When these lads come down, these, all these young ones are buzzing. That's what they want to be. That's, the, that's what they aspire to be. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's so kind. We're, we're so, so grateful. It's lovely to, to meet them and see them. It's fantastic, isn't it? It's fantastic. Uh, for the pro guys come and show interest, it just gives them all the buzz. There's nothing better than giving back to the community. I mean, this club, what we have here now, is it's absolutely superb. Now we know what we're going to do when we retire from rugby league, right? We've had a successful career on, on the back of what the community clubs have, have been able to provide for us. So, like I say, coming down and, and giving something back as almost as a thank you, I suppose, is mm -hmm. you know, only a little bit of gratitude that we can show for them. Great job. Available for weekend work. <laughs> <laughs> so we have got one more job to do. We're going to go out and fix the dugout outside. Right, so that's the final job uh, done for today, coming down and painting the dugout. Uh, lads, how, how do you think we've done with our paint job today? Are you happy with it, yeah? Just you three, how's it felt today coming down and helping back out a community club involved with rugby league? i say we wouldn't be where we are today representing England if it wasn't for the community club, so to come and to pay back in any way possible is obviously great for us. Special one for me, obviously, being a Hindley lad. Um, you know, I did a lot of 
playing around with my mates on these fields, so uh, it's great to come back and, and see how good the club is and, and do a little bit of work with the lads. So what an incredible day. We started this day speaking about pride, speaking about values, speaking about how the RFL and Ronsil are aligned to the community. And for me, I've just absolutely loved it because I've just seen it everywhere. I've seen it through all the volunteers. I've seen it through the professional players. I've seen it through the kids. It makes me excited and proud myself to be involved with such a great sport, Rugby League, and how important it is to the community. And long may that continue. Bye. Bye.